I suppose in my time in the hotel business and just various places that I've been, you come across these actress, actresses or whatever you like. I mean, I remember back in the Steve Russell days, Julie Roberts coming up to me and asking me had I got a room. Now, she had no makeup on her. She was a tracksuit. And I'd be honest with you, I didn't recognise her from hell. She was totally normal and she had no sooner gone up the stairs and I said to myself, good God, I says, that was Judy Roberts. Now, that's Judy Roberts from Pretty Woman fame. Big name, yeah. Yeah, big name. I rang her up and I said to her, I said, Miss Roberts, I said, I've just realised who you are. I says, can I upgrade you to a state or to a suite with our compliments? And she says, oh, not at all. She says, in fact, I was just going to ring you down. She says, I love this room. Can I book an extra three nights? You know, they're just totally normal people, but I think we tend to put people on a pedestal too much. I mean, they're all the same as us. They're yeah. all the same. Yeah, definitely. When you look at it, they got, they're human. Like My us all. father always used to say, we always end up in a six-foot bed, single bed, and that's true. Well, that is true, yeah, and uh, there's no denying that, uh, no, Matt. No, and uh, no. Talk to me, if you will, as well, about, um, you, uh, you met uh, Sarah Jessica Parker one day, was it in Killy Beggs, Matt? You could, you could bump in, around Donegal Town, Kitty Bags, you could bump into, to, to Sarah Jessica anywhere, and she has become really a local, for want of a better word, you know. She has these massive pair of sunglasses, which she seems to think are her disguise, but it's not her disguise at all. When anybody sees the sunglasses coming, they know it's Sarah Jessica. But I happened to be, it was a lovely summer's day, I think it was two years ago, and I was sitting on the wall opposite that sea shack, the fish, you know the fish, yeah. the, it's good fish. And I was having a bit on the wall and the cameras and all were beside me and the whole thing. And down she lands and she sits beside me with the two wings. And we talked away and I never let on and knew who she was. And that was going great. And we must have been talking for a good hour. And I eventually said to her, I says, God, I says, I better get out of here. There's not a, there's not a wing <laughs> and the house washed. Uh, I don't have wings in the house, by the way. <laughs> but, yeah. uh, she says, ah, oh, yeah, I better go myself. And. When I was leaving, I just got up and I shook her hand and I said, uh, look, it's great talking to you, Mrs. Broderick. <laughs> you knew she and you, you, yeah. But I wasn't letting on and she looked at me and she pointed the finger. She says, I'll get you the next time. Yeah. But it, I mean, that's the way you, you treat them as normal because they are normal people. I, get, I bet you she would have appreciated that. Far more, far yeah. more, far more respect.